Hey guys. Okay, so I am actually in Cabo, San Lucas, Mexico this week. I am staying at the Dreams Resort here. Um, I have stayed at a Dreams Resort before. It was about two years ago. I did a press trip with them at their resort in Tulum and I loved it. I absolutely loved the resort. I loved the franchise. I love the whole vibe. Um, it is a all-inclusive resort. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, I had this week with no kids. The kids are actually in Yosemite with Mark and I really wanted to get away and um, just do some writing, get some writing done. Um, I do my best writing when I'm not at home. Um, and also my home is under construction. So I am here for the week. I'm in Cabo for the week. I'm at the Dreams Resort for three nights um, where they are generously hosting me. And then I'm actually going to spend the following three nights at their sister resort called Secrets. And there are some differences between the two resorts. I'm super excited to check out Secrets because I've never been to one. But Secrets is adults only. Dreams is um, both. Um, you can bring kids, but they also have like an adults only pool and that kind of a thing. But I wanted to walk you guys through my room so you could see what it looks like. Um, so I will get started. Um, I'm actually out on the balcony of the room right now. So um, this is my view. Um, so as you can see, it's got a gorgeous beach view from the balcony. And then I also have a nice little view of the pool. And now this is the adults only pool. And I was down here for most of the day. Um, as you can see, there is a swim up bar. Everything's all included, so you can get, you know, I had a pina colada and also a mango margarita and also a mojito no jet tree. Uh, but this is a nice, quiet, adults only pool, and it really truly was quiet and lovely. And they've got the, um, you know, the nice loungers with pads on them. And, the guys literally come by like every five minutes asking if you want more drinks. So this is the balcony of my room, a nice little seating area, and then um, a big giant slider so that you can be looking at the beach from your bed. This is where I've been doing some writing today. I also did a little writing down by the pool. So the room has a nice little um, desk and a seating area. So I brought two books to read on this trip. One is Jen Hatmaker's book, which I'm finishing. And then this other book, War of Art, which is about writing. And since I'm doing writing, I brought it to try to get some inspiration. So here is an overview view of the room. Um, nice, pretty little bed. And um, there's my little trucker hat you can take the girl out of Orange County, but you can't take the Orange County out of the girl. Tons of closet space, like a ridiculous amount of closet space. And then this is awesome. There is a mini bar, and again, because it's all inclusive, all of it's free. Free Pacificos, free drinks, free juices in the mini bar. Um, you can also order room service for free, um, which is also amazing too. And then this is the bathroom, nice and big, um, nice little shower, and then another closet, walk-in closet. So that is the room. I'm loving it so far. And yes, Christina, this would this is a fantastic place to come alone. I have to say. Um, because you don't have to think about anything. I ordered breakfast up to the room. Um, I had lunch down at the pool. It's a great spot to come if you're by yourself. Because um, it doesn't feel weird to, you know, it's not like you have to go to a restaurant. Um, and, and what's great about this resort in Mexico um, is, you know, um, you don't have to leave. You don't have to drive anywhere. I caught a taxi here from the airport and I don't plan to leave until I go back to the, um, to the um, airport. And I don't know, for me, it's, I'm an introvert. I don't want to talk, I don't want to meet people or talk to people. So the adult pool was pretty fantastic for me. So yeah, that's the room.